Hey guys, welcome back. And today I've got another 3D printing video for you. And basically, I just want to share uh, my experience with a filament problem that I recently had. And the reason I want to share it is because it's something that can be easily overlooked. And if it is overlooked, it could seriously damage your printer and your extruder. So basically, last week I decided to buy some new plastic. I bought some PETG from Amazon. And it was a reputable, reputable brand and all that, but um, when, I, when it arrived, I noticed pretty quickly that the way it was wound around the reel was pretty messy, right? So if I show you, if you look at this, the way that it's been wound, it just looks so messy. And I didn't think too much of it at first, and I just, you know, put it on the spool holder, fed the filament through, and started printing. But pretty quickly I noticed that my printer was making some horrible noises and luckily I caught onto it pretty quick and no damage really occurred. So what was happening was as the extruder is trying to pull the filament through, right, it was really struggling because of the way this is wound. So sometimes you know, it's, it's sort of woven between each other and jammed in underneath some of the other loops that go around. So the extruder is trying to yank it essentially, and you can hear when I pull it, you know, it makes all those nasty crunching sounds. And my extruder is making these horrible clicking sounds, so I aborted it pretty fast. Um, but yeah, just be aware that when you buy filament, make sure that the filament can easily roll off. So if I, if I compare this with a Prusa Reel, for example, this is the reel that came with my Mark III, and you can see how how well it's been wound. You know, it, it it's essentially just going to fall off nice and easily. The extruder's not having to put excessive force on the plastic just to pull it off the reel. It should just nicely loop around and fall off. Where this this is a disaster, to be honest with you. Um, it's still perfectly usable, so I'm going to show you how. If you do have a filament that's like this, all you have to do is when you slice your model in Slicer, it'll tell you roughly how many meters of PLA it's going to use. So what I do is I manually pull off the filament, roughly how much I need, usually go a bit higher just to give you that threshold of safety. And then I just manually wind it so that I know it's going to nicely come off as I'm printing. And that works, you know, um, but to be honest, I don't know what to think about it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think this is acceptable when you send it back? Um, or is it a common issue? I'm not too sure. But I just wanted to share it with you so that you can avoid this potential problem in the future. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Take it easy, guys.